Greetings, YouTube. Happy Thursday with the hype of the month of September. You didn't just think Kabam wasn't going to bust out the uh, two early access bundle method, which is normally on Tuesdays, but it's different. It's been a couple months since they've given us that first early access bundle, but sometimes it's been on Wednesday. And now, obviously, today it is Thursday. So we have five shots at the new six star uh, Professor X. It is also worth noting that because these early access bundles are here, for those of you who spend $10 USD plus tax a month, you can get a sixth one. So we're going to get the sixth one because I always forget to do this, but I finally remembered to tell myself. So we're going to open six of these. I also want to say it's crazy. I've never seen my unit stash at exactly 23,000 even. Not sure if that's a good sign or not. But uh, I guess we'll see after this, won't we? So here we go. Five shots, the new six star. Even if I got the six star, I would still title it the same thing. Sometimes people are like, oh, it's clickbait if you don't get the six star. It's like, no, I title the same thing every time. And then if it's really good luck, which sometimes it is, I just uh, hope and pray that uh, my subscribers and the community shares the video so don't give too much away before you watch it. All right, so... Come on, Professor X. Let's see if we can see him in the real. We sure can see him in some capacity. I have opened the sub-featured six-star twice from these, both times in early access bundles, never the featured. So we'll see if that somehow changes, but uh, odds are it won't. I also still keep waiting to get the G-spot, Mr. Sunspot, from one of these. All right, first crystal is a five-star Nightcrawler. Heck yeah. I don't remember the last time I started with the five-star. It's been a very long time. And that awakens my Nightcrawler. Okay. Okay, Crystal. Well, no matter what, I can't go 0 for 6 on five-stars, and I have done that many a time before. So I'm pumped. I'm feeling good. Can we start out back-to-back five-stars? Yeah, right. Um... God, I'm so excited about Professor X for synergies. It does still confuse me and slightly creep me out that he is floating in this game. I think of him and I think of that badass chair. Yes, I realize the circumstances that got him there are not ideal. Understatement of the century. But it's just weird to call somebody Professor X but have them floating. I get, for those of you who are comic book in tune, that it is accurate to some extent based off of some era of the comics. But I grew up watching the X-Men cartoon series. And that dude was already in a chair. All right, can we do back-to-back -back five stars? What up, six-star Corvus? And we get a three-star Doctor Strange? Yep, that is to be expected. So when I get a three-star, you know what I do? I back out, kind of take a deep breath. Whew, reset that crystal. And then, as this is going to be, as always, a premiere stream, I enjoy doing those. It gives people a chance to comment. And when there's crazy luck once a year, and I've already had crazy luck once a year, so I don't expect it this time, uh, it's fun to see the comments and go back and watch them in ways that you couldn't do if this wasn't a premiere stream. So that's kind of the advantage. I don't know. Some people like them. Some people don't. But I think they're cool. I think getting to see a community reaction live in the chat is, is just fun. It adds a, a unique interactive element to the community that wasn't there before. Well, we know we're going to have at least a 33% drop rate for a five-star in the first three. That's amazing. But let's tap this crystal and see if we get another five-star. Oh, what's up, three-star Professor X? I'll take you. And a three-star Dragon Man, who I do believe is the sub-featured champion in this crystal. I mean, it's a sub-featured, so happy about that. It's so weird that when I opened Dragon Man crystals last time, I opened back-to-back -back four stars and never opened the three-star to uh, to be able to dupe the uh, the four-star before you open the three-star is just fascinating to me. But I like Dragon Man. I like him a lot. And I think based off of some of the videos that have been sent to me with utility, it's uh, it's really exciting. Let's also just be honest. Kabam's going to make a ton of money this month, even with the bugs and the side quests and switching over the completion rewards to still kind of be there but but not psychologically have that advantage of seeing them pop up when you complete the uncollected or cavalier quest for that matter it's a unique time to be kabam 
but I still think this is going to be a huge month for their bottom line. When you throw Apocalypse and Professor X in the same month, big things are going to happen with the uh, revenue stream of your company. All right, come on, second five star. And I was going to not even get that excited because it was slowing down too much. We got a four star for the first time. We went from five star Vegan Thor to four star War Machine. All right, two left. And we always team pop the last one in honor of uh, Prof Box and his beautiful, awesome new daughter, Prof Tot, Baby Ellie, Baby Ellis. Come on, two more shots of Professor X. Give us that luck. Give us that excitement. Give us something that we can, uh, well, put on YouTube and promote. It started off so good with the first time dupe of Nightcrawler, but we have come back down to reality. I mean, a sub-featured three-star isn't, isn't bad, but uh, another three-star, a four-star, not ideal. All right, come on, second five-star. Come on, server, cooperate with us. There we go. What's up, six-star Magneto? What's up, five-star Professor X? And another four-star. Oh, we actually had a positive troll roll. That's rare. And I still am a huge fan of Captain Marvel Classic. Well, we got two five-stars from these. So that's a 33% drop rate, or two out of six, no matter what. Now we're going to get that six-star uh, Professor X out of this, because we're going to team pop, and it's going to be amazing, right? Ha-ha. <laughs> hey, one can dream, despite the fact that that, that six-star drop rate is a whopping 0.1%. All right, we're going to count to four and do Team Pop and Honor, Prof Box and Prof Top. One, two, three. Show us back-to-back -back five stars. And it is ending on back-to-back -back five stars. Heck yeah. That was a 50% drop rate. And this is a beautiful Max Sigability Crystal. We already got 1,275 six-star shards when you count the uh, six-star shards that we got from purchasing the Early Access Bundle. And so now, most likely, we will get um, some more. We're just going to pop this crystal knowing it's going to be six-star shards, but, uh, you know, you never know. Maybe it'll be a, a six-star Immortal Iron Fist or uh, an Awakening Gem. One, two, three. Show us those six-star shards. And you did. 6,855. When you add that into the arena rewards from today, I'm sitting at over 70% of my way to the next six-star. Still think there's a chance I get the six-star sunspot before the five-star sunspot, which is kind of crazy, but, hey, that's the world we live in. YouTube, thanks so much for watching this premiere stream. I'm going to go respond to some student emails and take a break, but uh, at least I'll be able to throw this on YouTube and see people's comments. Three out of uh, six champions are five stars, ending with back-to-back -back five stars, the best one being Team Pop for the win. Shout out to Prof Box. Great day, and good luck to everybody. Send me those screenshots. If you pull Professor X, we'll do a community compilation, as always, for tomorrow.